Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I am Caitlin and please hit that subscribe button because I upload weekly and I upload very fun videos I think you guys will all enjoy. Um, but yeah, anyway, welcome back to another video. I haven't sat down and filmed a mukbang in a long while so I thought um, it was due. So um, I just made myself a salad. Um, and then I ordered some Uber Eats, as always. Um, I got some Italian. So I just got a bolognese. Um, and this is actually a kid's meal, but that's a lot. Oh my god. It looks amazing, you guys. Look at that. Yum. Um, but yeah, I just thought we'd sit down and eat our food and chat about life whoa this looks delicious and just like have a little catch up i've asked you guys to ask me some questions over on my instagram story um and i've got some topics that i've asked you guys to ask me holy god guys this is a lot of food like way more than i intended i'm not gonna need dinner um like it's literally already two o'clock so i'm not gonna be needing dinner mm. Yum. Mm. Guys, that pasta is so good. So I got it from Casa Chibo, which is literally just this place in, um, just near my, near my house. And it's literally so good. I've eaten there once before. Mm. In store. And it was so good, so I had pretty high expectations um, for the ingredients. But yeah, let's just start eating before this goes cold. But like, look at how much food I have here. That's like a full plate. That is not okay. Like, seriously, guys. Alrighty. So, what's everyone been up to? Um... I hope you all had a very good Christmas and New Year um, and Australia Day. Um, I had a really good Australia Day weekend. I was just at Rainbow Beach. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it, but it's just up north, just past Gympie, like 40 minutes from Gympie. And it's so nice there. Mm. So good. Yeah, it's just past Gympie. Um, Lee has a house there so we decided to go there with our mates for the weekend and um, sorry guys i'm just stopping my face this is so good i can't even begin to show you how much fun we have hmm. well i should not have worn white with pasta but anyway so i'm just gonna head over to my instagram Oh my god, people are probably going to think I'm fat. Okay, anyway. Oh my god, my hip is so sore like this. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to head on my Instagram and look through the questions. And we're just going to start from the bottom. But I'm kind of just going to like talk about whatever I feel like, whatever comes to mind and stuff like that. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, the first question is, do you believe a break from a relationship works? Example not fully broken up but a month to yourself that's a great question um i think everyone's views on something like that is completely different um so this is just my opinion i mean i've never been in that situation but i think it can work for some relationships and it probably wouldn't for others it just depends on your circumstances and what their goal is obviously that everyone's goal is for it to you know them to work on themselves and then come back together as one but i also think it depends on what are like the rules that you're laying down like is that you guys are fully apart and you don't have any boundaries or if you guys are you know just still you have boundaries and it's still a relationship kind of like not rules i'm not going to say but like terms and then um instead 
you're just kind of taking the time to like hang out and you're just focusing on yourself. I do think it can be difficult like that because I think when it gets to the point where you need a break, I think it's like, personally, I don't really, I wouldn't really do that. I'd rather just break up and then, you know, see where it takes you and if it brings you back together. Like, I think it's better to just fully be alone, be apart and just be your own person and see if what you want is to be alone or if it's someone else or if it's to travel or if it's to be with that person and if it's supposed to be then I guess you guys will just come back together um and yeah I hope that answered that question for you lovely oh someone asked they just said teeth whitening I'm assuming that just means like do I whiten my teeth if so what I use high smile um I don't use it super frequently but I do use it and I really do like it so I do recommend it how to be motivated to wake up early set goal and set goals um in my video that's coming after this one stay tuned i talk about goals and planning and how important it is so make sure you guys watch that one because i do really go into depth with it depth with it um in there so that is a really good video to watch um but honestly i'm the worst morning person i that's i think i'm nocturnal like when it comes to going to bed, I'm so awake and my body's just like, nope, it's not time to sleep now, it's time to wake up. Whereas when it's time to wake up, my body does the opposite. So probably not the best person to give this advice, but maybe I find that when I get into a routine, so just forcing yourself to get out of bed. So when you set your alarm or the night before, I like to set out what I'm why I want to get up so early, what it is I want to achieve at that time. So say I want to go to gym in the morning, I set an alarm for 7 to get up to go to the 7.30 a.m. class. And then I have my gym gear all laid out the night before, just beside my bed or on my desk or something, um, just so I can literally just get straight up. It's there, I just put it on and walk out the door. And then once I'm out the door, it's all good. Next question. How to be okay with being single? Um, a lot of people actually struggle with this. I know so many people that can't not be in a relationship, like they like get out of a relationship and then like a month later they're in a relationship or like a couple weeks later they're already talking to a new guy or a new girl. And like that's totally fine, there are people like that and that's just the way they are. I guess they're just not very independent but I think it's so 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 important to learn to be single um, like it's something that you need to learn to love being on your own finding something that you enjoy is so important like for me it's you know creating content and um, I enjoy like cleaning my room and setting goals and just doing stuff like that I really enjoy so finding something that you really enjoy doing that is something that you have to do alone that doesn't involve anyone else will help you so much because you just get so involved with it and so invested in it because you're so in interested in succeeding in this that you just you know you really want to constantly be doing it and to do it you have to be alone like obviously I can create content with other people but it's like the initial idea comes from yourself and I also think it's important to learn to love being alone because you know you're not always gonna have people with you like you may lose people in your life and you might feel so lonely even though you're not alone you have other people around you but you've got to learn to be strong and independent and I think independence is like one of the most valuable things you can have and like obviously straight away it's going to be hard if you've like just come out of a relationship but it's more just the fact that it's like one of those things that you've just got to learn that 
this isn't an instant change it's something that's going to take time and you've just got to work on yourself and know that it will happen just not like as soon as you want it to happen so just giving yourself time to heal and learn and cope and teach yourself new ways to go about life i always get this question favorite online clothing stores like i always get questions like that or oh, where do i shop out of my favorite places to buy clothes and stuff like that so let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do a haul where i buy one item of clothing from each of my favorite online stores and i review them there is so many relationship questions in here and it's so oh. anyway what type of girlfriend are you clinging or chill i think i'm a bit of a mixture like there's times where i'm like so clingy and i'm like no oh, like don't leave me and i'll get like sad when lee has to leave but that's just me being a sort of let's be real times where i'm like a bit more chill and I'm like nah I just want to do my own thing you know how do I grow my social media um I someone actually asked me about this the other day and I actually invested so much time into answering this question because I think it is literally just I don't know I just love answering this question for people so i might actually read you guys what i said because there was some really good points in there that i that i listed for this person and obviously you know different things work differently for everyone but this is personally what has worked for me um and a lot of the people who i connect with that have also grown so this is what i'm kind of just gonna put it into points so just for reference it is a very long like up and down process like there will be days when you're doing weeks i guess when you're doing so well and then weeks when you literally feel like you're not growing you're not going anywhere it's not even worth it you feel like you're wasting your time and so on and so on but in the long run it's so worth it and you just kind of have to have a good head screwed on your shoulders knowing what you're getting yourself into and you have to be a bit I guess strong in the heart and the head because you just got to push things to the side like that so um exposing yourself on multiple different platforms so if you want to grow on like instagram for instance um it, i found it was really good when i started my youtube channel and just posting on social on snapchat and everything like that because you just you're getting your reach to different people um and different platforms are putting you out for instagram is what i'm going to mainly be touching about hashtags are your best friend like seriously hashtag everything you can think of and i've only just started to realize that like end of last year and seriously it helped me grow incredibly like so much like if i went from i think like like i grew like a couple hundred followers in like uh, like two weeks because of hashtagging well not just because of hashtagging but hashtagging had a big impact on it another big thing is finding your target audience um because you know when you find people who are doing similar stuff to what you want to do or where you want to be and you follow them they're probably going to follow you back following and commenting on people who have similar interests to you just because then other people are going to see your account and obviously if they're already following this account then you know they're going to probably follow yours as well if they see make sure the quality of your photos and your editing is like quite good because obviously a feed that looks more aesthetically pleasing as silly as it sounds is more appealing for someone to follow um going on public is really really important as well if you guys do any collabs or sponsor posts i've recently started to do this as 
I have noticed that, you know, people will unfollow me or my photos that I do collabs on don't get as many likes as personal photos or photos that don't look like a sponsored post. Um, because a lot of people think that collabs are ingenuine or that, you know, people are just doing them for the money or that they're, you know, just doing it because when that's really, it is the case for some people, but personally speaking, I know all of the collabs that I do, um, I actually pretty much don't get paid for any of them and I will only post them if I genuinely use and like the product and like everyone says that, but I'm dead set not lying. <laughs> Alrighty. When you go to the hairdresser, what do you get done? So when I'm going to get my full treatment, I get a full head of foils, a treatment, a toner, and usually I'll get my hair cut and styled or I'll get my extensions put in. Um, it really depends. Otherwise, if I'm going in between appointments, I'll get like a, a part line or a half head just to make sure my hair is like looking as fresh as possible. How to gain confidence to start an Insta and YouTube? Um, just go for gold, honestly. Obviously, it's scary at first. You're worried, you know, pretty much the only thing you're worried about is not growing or not being the biggest or someone judging you. But, like, if you're worried about that, then that's you shouldn't be starting it in the first place because you should be starting it because it's something that interests you and you want to do it, not just because you want a following. Um, so yeah, that's really my main advice, like just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Um, and if you are, then just go for gold. If it makes you happy, that's literally all that matters. Like people are gonna judge you at the end of the day. People will judge you even when you're not doing social media. So just do what makes you happy and don't worry about what um, anyone else is saying about you because it's really none of their business. And you know what? The way I thought about it when people would speak shit about me was that, you know what, these people are talking shit about me but they're still watching my videos and following me because, you know, that's either jealousy or that they care about it or something. They're giving me views and likes and everything like that. So that's actually helping me out in the long run. So, you know, they're gonna be haters but they're also not haters if they're still following me and taking time out of their day to try and bring me down when it's actually bringing me up so that's the best way I guess I would put it so I'm just gonna say about one more thing quickly because I think I can finally address it I mean it's not really that big of a deal it has really nothing to do with like my social media or anything like that but I just want to address it because it's an important time in my life and I'm excited about it so why not share it with you guys job interview that I had two weeks ago I played a video when I was doing a makeup tutorial my 2020 vision video for um I was getting ready to do a job interview I ended up getting through to the second round which I also spoke about in my most previous video um the say it or shot it with Carrie and Brie and I got the job so I'm so 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 happy I got the job it's actually just a sales specialist retention role in um, the CBD so yeah I'm super excited I'm starting there on Monday so literally like when this video goes up, it'll literally be like four days away, which is crazy. I need to go shopping for some new work clothes. Uh, um, I will still be working at Cold Rock half half because this new job is only part time. So I and Cold Rock is also night shift, so I'll be doing like night shifts there, and then a couple days there, and then I'll also be doing a couple days at my other job whilst going to uni. So yeah, I'm gonna be full on. Um, when I do that, which means I'm gonna have to be making the most of my weekends Yeah, guys look at how much I ate. I'm so proud of myself. I didn't have breakfast this morning Because I Wanted to make sure I had enough room in my tummy for this 
Alrighty guys, that does bring us to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I actually had a lot of fun eating because who doesn't love eating? And obviously talking to you guys and chatting um, about my life. Um, I really want to engage more with you guys, so please, please, please drop a comment of how you're doing, um, you know, like how old you are, where you guys are from, just so I can get to know you guys more. Um, and yeah, that's all that I have to talk to you guys about today, or all you, that you guys wanted to know about me. That up there, do you guys like it? I It'll also be part of my weekly vlog, show you guys about it, but... I think it's so cute like it just adds a bit more to my room because if you guys have been following me for a while you know that I've been looking for something to put up there for ages just because it looks so bland and boring and I honestly think it's just finished off my room like it's just made it look so much better and I'm so happy with it so yeah anyway I will see you guys in my next video and I love you all Bye.